Hey everybody, welcome back to my series, Learning to Apple Script. Thanks for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna focus on variables and how to use them. Let's get going. All right, so I've created a very simple illustration of a box to show you that I want you to think of a variable as a container. You can put things in this container to store it for later use in your script. So in this example, I'm gonna create a variable called the name or a container called the name, and I'm gonna put a name in that container. What's important with variables is understanding that they can only contain one item at a time. So as I fill the variable with a name and then later try to put another name in it, it's important to understand that the first name will be replaced by the second name that I put into that variable. So just remember a variable can only contain one piece of information at a time. Now that I've given you a quick illustration of, a, of what a variable is, let's go to script editor and see it in practice. So as always, I'll start my script with the on run, and then I'm going to say set the name to Jill. What this line does is creates a variable called the name and stores the information Jill in that variable. I'm gonna add a log and then we'll run the script to see the results of the log, which will show me the value of the variable, the name. So now we can see that my variable, the name, contains the string Jill. So now let's see what happens if we set the variable, the name, to another name, Jason. We'll log that result as well to see the difference. So after running this script, you can see in my results window that I'm getting Jill and Jason respectively. The variable, the name, ends with the last thing I've put in it, which in this case was Jason. So now I wanna talk a little bit about variable scope. What's important for you to understand about the scope of a variable is that a variable's information cannot be accessed within another handler. So in a previous video, we talked about an on open handler, an on run handler, and an on idle handler. If you have a variable set in one of those handlers, that information will not be accessible to the other handler unless you program for that. In this example, I'll create another subhandler called subhandler, and I'll set our same variable, the name, to a new name, Sarah. And then we'll log that result and let you see kind of what happens to that information before and after I call my subhandler. So you'll notice when I set my variable, the name, within my subhandler and log it within my subhandler, I will see the result, Sarah. But after I come back out of that subhandler and I re-log the information, the name, I'm going to get my initial variable, Jason. That's because my on run handler only knows the scope of the variable, the name, within the context of its handler, and it does not understand that I've changed that value in my subhandler. A way around this is to create a property. If I create a property called the name, then it gives the scope of my variable global precedence. So it understands now when I set the name, it is going to be set at that higher level and it will modify that variable throughout the entire scope of my project. So now that I've added a property called the name, let's see what happens to my variable throughout the script compared to what it used to be in the messages pane. So if we take a quick note of what our value was in the messages pane, we had Jill, Jason, Sarah, Jason. Now let me hit play and let's see what our variables change to. So now we can see our variables changed to Jill, Jason, Sarah, Sarah. That's because now the property, the name, has global status, which means once I've changed it in my subhandler, the main on run handler has been updated as well, and that variable is now set to Sarah instead of remaining at Jason. As always, thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I would love it if you smash the like and subscribe button as well. Thanks again.